Sergei Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov is taking place in a couple of days in Saudi Arabia on June 22nd. It's the co-main event for Robert Whittaker versus Ikram Aliskarov. And yeah, these are two fighters, two Russian fighters, that have trained with each other before. But now it's been over one and a half years since they've trained with each other. And Sergei Pavlovich said they're familiar with each other, but you change, fighters change every month, every year. Now it's been over a year, so he probably has a few surprises and a few moves for Volkov that he hasn't seen before. And even though they're both Russian, they're, they both have a very different vibe. Volkov is six foot nine. He, he speaks English, which is rare for a Russian fighter, rare for a non Caucasian Russian fighter, or a non Caucasian Russian fighter. Alexander Volkov has a bit more of a nerdy edge. He was found to play Zelda Breath of the Wild before his previous fight. And Sergei Pavlovich is more of a no-nonsense type of man. No jokes, his answers are very concise. Not even concise, just very short. Someone asked him in an interview, oh, are you sad that you're fighting your friend Volkov? Wouldn't you have preferred another to fight someone else and fight Volkov for the title? And he's like, Sergey was like, it's over now, so let's, let's just get on with this. Why keep like reflecting on this question? Because Sergey's like, let's get to the point. He's a get, get to the point type of man. Even I'm, I think Sergey Pavlovich might be the most no-nonsense serious fighter in the UFC. Because because even other fighters in, that seem no nonsense, like Alex Pereira, he jokes around with Glover Teixeira and has pranks and stuff. Piotr Jan might be is a very intense fighter, but in interviews he jokes around a lot, makes a lot of jokes in Russian. He might not speak English, but he has like tons of jokes and tons of disses, and he he might insult his opponents a lot. Sergey Pavlovich. No nonsense. He doesn't joke. He doesn't insult his opponents like Piotr Jan. He doesn't do pranks like Alex, Alex Pereira. He's just no nonsense. The most no nonsense fighter in the UFC. And I know a lot of people are picking Alexander Volkov as a live underdog in this fight because. They think of Alexander Volkov as more well-rounded than Sergei Pavlovich. But I think Sergei Pavlovich is going to win. Volkov lost to Curtis Blades. Pavlovich beat Curtis Blades. He won against him in under two rounds. In under one round. And I know they say you can't do MMA math, but... MMA math actually does work a lot. There are exceptions. And you can answer back, oh, well then the Overeem fight, Pavlovich lost to Overeem and Volkov beat Overeem. But that fight was, was the first fight in Sergei Pavlovich's career. So he's grown immensely since then. Whereas the Volkov fight was, Volkov Curtis Blades fight was, relatively recent. You can still grow a lot, but it's enough, it's recent enough in your career that that's more of a fair comparison. And so basically I'm picking Sergei Pavlovich because I think his takedown defense and his wrestling will is better than people think it, it will have improved a lot since the Overeem fight. And yeah, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem because in the Curtis Blades fight, it wasn't a problem. Uh, but yeah, that's a question. Was it because Curtis Blades didn't go for a takedown? 
was that because he was because of what Sergei was doing or he just didn't go for it and maybe Volkov will go for it and also there's the expect of Volkov and Sergei Pavlovich are familiar with each other but Sergei Pavlovich gets things done more often and in a more emphatic fashion being Derek Blaze I mean Derek Lewis close Blaze which Volkov lost to both of them so Overall, Sergei Pavlovich seems like a stronger contender, stronger fighter, more capable fighter. So I'm gonna. I think Sergei Pavlovich is gonna beat Volkov. Like and subscribe.